clinic in Cancun. Hi guys, this is again Dr. Christian Farhad. Um, I'm trying to go in this video to a couple of questions. Usually they're the same, so we're going to try to take them on as best as we can. So first of all, what's the difference, because there are many types of stem cells, what's the difference between an adult stem cell and an embryonic stem cell? So first of all, Embryonic stem cell, they come from the embryo. Therefore, they're a younger kind of stem cell. Adult stem cells come from a donor, usually is an adult. So those stem cells have the same age as the donor. They have the same exposure to toxins, habits, smoking or drinking, not dieting, not exercising enough. They're exposed to the same allergens. There's the same pollution in the air, the same pollution in the food, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's one of the major differences. Let's go a little bit more into it, a little more specific. Why adult stem cells give us such a hard time when you actually talk to the patients? One thing is in the lab, and another thing is on site, on the patient why there's so much um, like a 50-50 chance of actually getting your problem solved or not seeing any result. We're gonna go through it, bear with me. So first of all, embryonic stem cells produce a gene called OCT4. That's the gene expression that it's only presented in embryonic stem cells. This keeps the cell in an like in a stem cell fashion without aging. Adult stem cells, they age. They're old adult stem cells. That's why they don't present the OCT4 gene that's uh, expressed in the sixth chromosome. Now, the membranes of the placenta and the membranes of the, the product um, also produce uh, other growth factor like the leaf growth factor that's innovator to leukemia growth factor it's only producing in embryonic state for example that growth factor is not presented in adult stem cells or morphogenic bone proteins there are very specific growth factors to regenerate bone tissue cartilage ligaments tendons and most of them are only presented in an embryonic cell cycle. So once they're becoming adult stem cells, they don't produce it anymore. So you're missing out in the growth factors that are only produced in an embryonic state, and you're not getting the most out of your treatment. Then we have the aging process. The aging process is with each cell division, the cell becomes older. And it's much uh, open of losing uh, a lot of its protective defense mechanisms each time the, the membrane becomes porous because it's going to start dividing. So an embryonic stem cell has a lot of divisions left. They have quantified around 42 to 44 cell divisions before a cell becomes older. And Adult stem cells have been around quite some time, depending the donor. So they already are at least at the half of their life cycle. And they have less of the enzyme that produces, that helps with the division. It's called telomerase. Their membranes are not oxidized, the one that are embryonic stem cells. They have not received the direct damage of oxidant factors. Instead, the adult stem cells have been exposed to many, many, many uh, factors that produce the oxidation of their membrane. Their membrane. So you'll be getting a cell that's old, that's not gonna divide as much, 
and that it's being damaged. And it doesn't produce us all the growth factors. You're, you're missing a lot on the, the good part of having a stem cell. Another point would be the cell inclusions. Uh, embryonic stem cell has not been exposed again to toxins, heavy metals, pollution, uh, medication, etc., etc. So the cell is not full of residue of, of, of these types. And an adult stem cell is. So it's an old cell and it has a lot of garbage in it. Then we have um, inflammation receptors. A cell, when it's overexposed to inflammation, starts to put a lot of receptors in its membrane. So a new cell, an embryonic cell, has not been directly exposed to any inflammatory substances or environments, has very little inflammation receptors. Instead, an adult stem cell has been exposed to everything that you have been through or the donor has. So in that case, it has a lot of inflammation receptors instead of having extra receptors free to being receptive, to being um, stimulated by growth factors that might be circulating in the blood to actually regenerate the tissue. So this is very, very subtle because this is where you're losing your money. So if you're not getting the most out of your stem cell treatment, adult stem cell, is because usually they're more sensitive to inflammation. And if you have many places of inflammation, let's say maybe you had a bad knee, you have a bad back, and maybe you have trouble with your throat. Normally you get a lot of, um, like a lot of sore throat or, or rhinitis or some allergies. So you have inflammation all over the place. So what you're gonna get a stem cell shot of adult stem cells, it's gonna be very hard to try to regenerate maybe the skin, something to think about. Now, another important issue, phenotype. How many cell types can we actually get with embryonic stem cells? We have 260 different types of cells in the body. With embryonic stem cells, we can get almost every one of them. Instead, with adult stem cells, we get around 27 different tissues. So 260 versus around 27, I think there's no comparisons. So the more specific the tissue you want to regenerate, the less value your treatment's getting if you're getting adult stem cells. It's very limited till now. Um, the number of cellular uh, replicas or divisions we might get. Remember, embryonic stem cells are young, are new, are healthy. They can have a lot of divisions. So a lot of different number and cellular numbers. Instead, um, the ones of adult stem cells, it's more limited. And remember, uh, embryonic stem cells have not passed to the immune system in which they have not presented with antigens. What does that mean? It means it doesn't give allergies or rejection. Like a donor, like when you're getting an, an organ donation, you have to look that you don't reject it. So there's no trouble there or issue by rejecting the cells because they don't have these antigens. Instead, the adult stem cells have already gone through the immune system, therefore, it would definitely give out a reaction or rejection, potential one. You have to go and, and have a, a other specific tests to avoid this. And lastly, but not least, the cost. The embryonic stem cell treatment goes a lot cheaper than the adult stem cell cost because the donor, you have to bring it in, you have to take out the stem cell, you have to separate the other cells, you have to multiply them in the lab, you have to resend them, get the specific tissue you want. When you have enough of them, you send them back to the patient and you re-inject them. So it's a lot of process in between and a lot of things might go wrong. So that's why it's so hard to actually get the majority of patients feeling how they want it to. Some of them feel much, much better and others just stay the same. So that's the idea. Thank you so much for your time. We will be right here and hopefully you'll like the video.